desperately need support for ratios and for extra staffing in aged care. The situation is, is dire. It's the worst I've ever seen it since I've been there and I've been in that facility for over 34 years. It's not just about numbers and about budgets, this is about people's lives. We have to do something about this system now. There's been no improvement or any change since the Royal Commission and in fact the staffing seems to be worse in the last two years. Where I work, they've had one nurse for 20 mobile dementia residents. That, that's impossible to deliver that care. No meal breaks. Never enough staff, always short staffed, every single shift. We've had 28 staff leave, you know, over the last couple of months. It's so poorly paid for the work and they've just had enough. We need all the things that the Royal Commission found. And I think what makes me really angry is we knew all of this before the Royal Commission was even held. And yet we've not seen the action that we need. They'd like to see ratios in aged care. And Susan talked about other extra staff to perform administrative things that a lot of that would fall on us normally. Well, I'd like to see some serious commitment for a major overhaul of aged care. Looking at what you would want if you were in aged care. There has to be changes. All the things on the pledge are just absolute basics for getting this system right. Guaranteed ratios, the greater transparency, improved wages and conditions, and at least one registered nurse 24 hours a day. Susan signed it and we're very pleased with that. Whoever is in government right now should be doing it. They're not. And that's why we in Labor have such a strong commitment to taking action so that we can start to turn this system around just to make life better for the residents and ultimately the nurses. What do we want? Ratios. We 